Hey there. Good evening, Joe. What is tonight? Thursday. That's right. And I got this nice heavy box here from the Nostalgic Ukraine auction last Saturday. Um, I remember some of the stuff I bid on, and I don't remember everything else. I know Nas was sending me some stuff he picked up for me, and I know Nas always throws in some extras. And this box is heavy. So, uh, let's open her up. I like this little radar toy sticker. I'm going to have to try to preserve this little thing here by slicing and dicing around it and something I could maybe stick up on the wall. It looks though like it, it wraps around and here comes Deuce because he hears me talking of course. But I think I may be able to open this this way. Hold on. Sorry if I'm off camera right now. I'm just trying to save this kind of cool sticker here. Oh, this is some thick cardboard. May not be as easy as it looked. <laughs> ah, let's see here. Oh, God, dang, that's some thick stuff. Some really thick cardboard. Try not to slice myself doing this. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Come on. I don't think I'm going to be able to... What? Oh, here's your, your tail. I'm sorry. Well, I get the tail in the way. <laughs> Goofball. Well, I hit your tail. Well, you don't see me putting my tail in your way, do you? Mm, of course not. Wow. Damn. Oh, I see. It's got another flap in here. I don't know if I'm going to get this out of here successfully. I'd like to sort of save this. Come on. I'm not cutting my own fingers off here. Right in here, this cardboard is like the thickest three quarter inch plywood here. Let's see. Oh, hey, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Almost there. It's like two layers of cardboard here. Oh, almost. Almost. Aha! I got it. I'll just have to flatten it out a little bit. That's pretty cool with this raccoon lifting a car and radar toys. And the bear going, oh my god, and people running and mayhem and oh my god, it's horrible. Okay, let's open the rest of this box here. Let's open the rest of this box and see what's in here. Okay. Okay, come on. Without cutting myself, Joe. Aha, here we go. Ta ta ta. Dun 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 da. That's what I keep trying to close, so let's do it that way. I'll give do something to sit on. Okay. Well, let's see all that's in here. This got some weight to it. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see if we get the box this way. Let's let's do this. Ta-da! Let's see all that the Nas man has sent me. Put this knife and marker over here. It's bags of stuff. I believe this is some of the items that nobody else bid on. So, let's see here. Oh, we don't want to zoom in. We want to zoom there. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, the, does the hood open on that? Yes, it does. It's on an old Matchbox 300ZX. This is a plastic car. This is a burning key car. It's from Matchbox. I remember these. Uh, you put a plastic key in there and press the little button. Boom, it launched off. There's like a spring-loaded key or the car is spring-loaded. Not car is spring-loaded. See the spring in there? Yeah, they gave you these little plastic keys. I never had them because they were kind of after my time as a kid. You know, way before I got into customizing stuff. But I remember my little brother had them. I 
remember seeing them. Uh, this is a, whatchamacallit, oh, this is a Toyota. They just call it a Toyota four-wheel drive by Majorette. It's got a little opening hatchback. I can't remember what these were called in America. I think they had kind of like not quite a station wagon, not quite a minivan. It's kind of an in-betweener. And then we have a, another Toyota. This is a, uh, it doesn't really say. This is Toyota. Wait, wait, Supra. It's black on black. And you can tell these have been well played with. It has an opening hatch with missing, whether it had a window or not, we don't know. I'm assuming it did. You know what, I'm gonna put these cars in this section of the box over here so they don't roll off the table. Because Deuce is gonna be involved. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, it's an Audi. And it's an Audi, another Matchbox, and it's a Quattro. I don't like the scale. It's a 158th scale. It's kind of a odd number. I didn't know they scaled. This is a play art Honda Accord. And it's, it's got flat head screws holding it together. Uh, hardly any windows. Kind of an interesting item. Might be nice for a rusted out junker in a on a trailer or something. Kind of odd. Uh, odd vehicle. See, I know Nas always sends extra stuff. Now, some of these, I might just uh, pass these on to the kids next door. There's two little boys that live next door. Let me move this camera a little bit. Okay, what do we got here? Well, this is pretty clean. This is a Hot Wheels. This is a 97 Corvette from 1996. So that just shows you by the time they make them, get them licensed and approved, it takes a while. Because they did the car ahead of time. But that's pretty damn sharp. I like that. I mean, it's got tail light detail and front marker lights. Nice color interior. Oh, it's even got a Hot Wheels logo. I don't know if it'll show on the camera or not. Right there, like embedded in the glass. That That's kind of cool. I've never seen that. And here we go, another of that. This is a no name. This is just made in Hong Kong. Hong Kong Fui. This appears to be a 73 up to about a 78, 79 ish Corvette. Somewhere in the early 80s. I think they stopped this style in 1982. And I don't think there were any vets in made in 83. And then here's another one. This is a 4x4 version. Yeah. That looks like another mid late 70s Corvette. Alrighty, let's see what else we got. Oh, classic split window and another Hong Kong Fui. Nobody's name. These may make nice junkyard things or... Oh, Matchbox. A 62 Corvette that somebody, some kid got a hold of markers. They're pretty good flames. Might have been an adult that did that. That may be strippable and salvageable. You know, put some chrome spray on the bumpers and refill them. And Deuce is here helping me out. Oh, now this one's pretty sweet. This is a metal base Hot Wheels 80s Corvette. I love how they can't give it a specific year. Made in 82, which was the year, last year of the other body style. It's pretty clean. It could use some touching up, but... And it's like it had tail lights, but it doesn't. They're just deep, hollow holes. But it's never been drilled apart. And that's really kind of unusual. But that might be nice custom fodder down the line. And yet another Corvette. Uh, this is an 83 custom Corvette. Uh, convertible ZR1, which... Uh, I don't know if the ZR1 came out then. I thought the Z1 came out later. But I could be wrong. Okay. So, oh, what the heck is this? It's a little piece of something. Huh, I saved that for a coil for models. That's kind of neat looking. Okay. Let's put the paper over here. And the cats can play with that. And let's see what else we've got here. 
Oh, sweet. 69 Cougar Eliminator in the Flying Customs line. Nice packaged car. Yeah, I could use some taillight detail and some grill wash. Maybe a wheel swap. It's a pretty cool looking little car. Cougars, a kind of forgotten car, you know. They uh they were the sister to the Mustang, but they never quite took off as much as the Mustang did. And it's kind of a pity. They were cool cars. And here we go, another. Oh, one of my favorites. The Nova. I am a Nova person. I like most year every year Nova. Um, this one's pretty cool. Purple. Definitely needs some detailing, but no, I can't take care. Watch your tail. Ah, yes. Now I've been finding these everywhere, so now i got more to customize. I'll have to do some shiny and some rusty and maybe one of those, uh, what are they called that Chris is always doing? Those war things, those uh, gas landers or outlanders. <clears throat> maybe do something like a like Mad Max type thing, get some machine guns on there or something. And here's one of Nas's mild little customs resealed. The Audi Quattro that's been cleaned of its paint and just uh, steel wooled. So I might, who knows, I might paint it. I might just detail it and maybe clear the uh, Zamac. Okay. And these were a couple of things he is looking for for me. Um, thank you, Nas. Uh, there's a local hot dog. Well, there's a couple local hot dog shops. Let me get the camera up here. I, I actually found one of these this morning, believe it or not. I walked into Myers. I try to go every morning. I usually get something for lunch or a snack for breakfast. And I always check the Hot Wheel aisle. Or the die cast in general aisle. And I walked up and nothing new in the main lines. Um, well, there was, but somebody had gone over it. And so if there was a super, it was gone. Um... And, uh, but I looked down and one of these was hanging. So I picked one up and I stopped for hot dogs after work at Hot Dog Alley in Austintown, Ohio. And I gave one of them as, hey, here's a little present for you. So I hope the girl that's working actually gets it to the owner. Um, or they leave it in the shop and hang it up somewhere in the office or, you know, it's a drive up and walk up restaurant only. So, you know, basically only the employees in the, uh, uh, you know, customers will see it if they do put it up somewhere. But, uh, yeah, cool. Thank you so much, Nas, because there's other hot dog shops I tend to. And I might even do one of these as a custom, uh, specifically for one of the shops. You know, maybe put their logo or something like that. I'll have some decals made up. Okay. Oh, and we got another custom Camaro. So I'll have to see what I could do with those. Okay, I'm trying to go in order here. Ah, this is more of the stuff that Nas was, uh, that didn't sell. This is actually kind of cool. Is it a pullback? Yep, I think it's a pullback. Yep, and it is, uh, Kinsmart. And it's one thirty-second scale, according to the <coughs> Oh, it's even got an opening hatch back here. Well, I had it opening. Oh, there it is. There we go. And now that uh, like robot it's got a little surfboard on top. Neat. I just clean that up and put it on display. Now that marijuana is all legal in Ohio, sort of, this this is kind of fitting. And the other one I saw. This is Fast and Reliable Delivery Services. Now, anybody that ever drove or rode in one of these buses, you know they had like 50-some horsepower. So I don't think Fast and Reliable would be uh, too accurate for Volkswagen unless it was downhill. They really weren't fast. My buddy had a second-gen uh, van, you know, the flat nose. and Oh, my God, that thing couldn't get out of its own way. But, hey, what do you want? Let's see what else we got here. We got more stuff. Some of this I bid on, some I did not. I'm trying to remember what I bid on. I didn't bid on these because I already had some. So thank you, Nazi. He sent me some of those. Another uh, Charger tuned and a Super tuned from uh, Fast and the Furious. You can hear Mitzi down there playing with the paper 
at Nascent. And here's a couple of the Volkswagen Golfs, a.k.a. Rabbit. They were rabbits here in America for a few years. I think probably the late 70s into the early 80s, they called them rabbits here. Um, I'm not sure what the exact years were, but a buddy of mine had a rabbit. They had a couple of them. And these, I think I actually bit on these. The little Porsche. Look at this. Front porch, side porch, and a back porch. I don't know. But yeah, sweet. Might do some customizing on these. Wow, they got like a sparkle paint. I thought it was just solid black. But you can see the metallics in it. Very heavy. Thanks again, Nas. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, we got another bag. We got a couple more bags. Let's go through this one first. These I've been on. I believe these are old racing champions. Yep, racing champions. Now, they're kind of played with, but they're kind of just nostalgic. Huh, nostalgic from nostalgic. The old NASCARs. Um, you know, the Ford Torino. Another Torino Cobra. Um... Yeah, I like I like the old NASCARs. I well, I almost got a broken wheel, but we can fix that. But I'll probably just straighten them up a little, clean them up, and put them on display somewhere. Because <coughs> I like the old NASCARs. Yeah, see that one's got a broken axle, but that's repairable. I could drill them out. I got some 125th scale models of these Cobras, so yeah, here's another one. And yet another one. So, those are quite cool. Something about them. I like that era of uh, NASCAR 60s and 70s and maybe early 80s at the most. Uh, here's an oldie. 1986 or 88. Um, kind of hard to read. And that light's going to make it harder for you guys, but... Little tea bucket, you know, more custom fodder. Then there's one of these funky ones, and this is 1983. I graduated high school then that year. And Deuce is trying to sit in the box at Nas Scent. Ah, this the teetotaler from Hot Wheels, look wacky custom. Might be able to do something with that, too. And then this is another fantasy car. Oh, come on. Come on. Get out of the bag. This is Jet Sweep X5. Got like a jet engine coming out the back of it. And I, well, I guess nobody... Oh, he, he rides here. Cockpit's to one side. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he sits on the engine or in the engine. And last but not least, bringing up the rear of this package is some V-Dub action. The uh, T1, now this is the second gen, has the flat nose. Hey, excuse me, start to yawn. This is sweet, this uh, might just wheel swap this and... You know, paint the lights. Let's kill the light. Come on. There we go. Yeah, just wheel swap it. Maybe detail it a little bit. Nice. Thank you, Laws. And a very special gift from Nas. A couple of T1s, which I have the last one he sent me. It's a, uh, uh, what you might call it. it's on a display in my cabinet. It's out of the package, but these will be getting depackaged. And oh, god dang it! Um, yeah, I'll do some custom paint jobs and stuff on these. I'll strip them and do whatever. I know that makes some of the collectors cringe when they hear that, but that's what I do. You know, yeah. So yeah, that's everything. And I got another video to make here soon. Um, do a little catch up on the model world but yeah there's some cool stuff there a lot of custom fodder so i gotta put all that in a the cabinet there yeah these camaros are kind of cool might have to try to make one of these uh 
out of a 125th scale model, do some uh, customizing and turn it into one of these type of cars. And Deuce, what are you doing? Why do you always have to be such a pain, Deuce? But try to get some of the stuff back in the box for now. But yeah, hey, Nods, thank you so much. I'm glad I could be part of the auction. Thank you for the bonuses. And there's Deuce. Say hi, Deuce. Hey, Deuce. You're not going to say hi to the people? You know, the world can see you, Deuce. Ah, there he is. Ah, he doesn't want to say hi, but he is a good boy, huh? What do you guys, boy? Yeah, huh? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you want a fist bump? You wanna show daddy, show everybody how you, oh, you gotta be careful of that rollback. Here, Deuce, Deuce, hey, fist bump? You wanna show people how you, no? Hmm? Not gonna do it? No, you're not in the mood now, huh? You're a cat. And kitties do what they want when they want. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, now you sit down. Hey, here, sit down. Sit. Okay, deuce. Deuce. Come on. Not gonna fist bump. <laughs> you're, oh no, you're just gonna lay down. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, thanks. Oh, there's Mitzi. Mitzi, say hi. Say hi, Mitz. Mitzi. Oh, you're gonna be stubborn too. You're not gonna say hello? You gotta see what's there, don't you? Uh, you guys forget so easily what curiosity did to the cat. Hmm. You have no idea. Uh-oh. No, you don't. Okay. Well, hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, uh, like I said, I'm going to go put this stuff away and probably get ready for bed in a bit. I'm tired as hell. <sighs> Luckily, the weekend's almost here, so... Thanks again for watching, and uh, yeah, peace. Talk to you later, man. Bye-bye.